Hello everyone and welcome to another hammer video. Now this isn't like a normal tutorial. Um, this is more of a announcement of sorts, alright. So if you map for Gary's mod, there's some great new changes coming your way for mapping. Now here is the update preview change log for uh, Gary's mod for the July update. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's releasing tomorrow on June 28th. But I just wanted to get a video out just to tell you about the changes and show you how to use them. First off, some new filter entities. Those are good. There's uh, so you can check if something has a specific model, and that'll uh, trigger a certain thing if you want it to. And then context. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but so added full support for static prop light maps. You know what this means? This means that. Static props, you know how they usually uh, use vertex lit lighting? Now they have the capability to use the light maps, which is the same thing that brushes use. What's also amazing is they added Fong support for light map generic shader, which basically means Fong is now enabled on brushes, just map geometry which this was previously only able to be done on CSGO and map base. So it's pretty crazy that it's coming to Gary's mod and I'm quite excited about this. There's some other cool things in here but those are the main big two and so I'll leave a link to this page in the description if you want to see everything. But let me actually show you how to get this stuff working. So basically I'm just going to make a little comparison here. Here is the texture that I have with Fong. So, this is the texture with Fong, this is the texture without Fong. Alright, so this isn't the same VMT, but um, it actually has all the parameters that I've used. So, what I found is on the Fong page, uh, on the Valve Developer Wiki page, there's only three values that actually affect the, um, the brush. So, of course you want to enable Fong with this parameter here, which is just Fong1. And then there's Fong Exponent and Fong Amount. So, Fong Exponent, you know, I I couldn't tell you how it actually works because I'm too lazy to read through the huge ass page they have explaining how Fong Exponent works. But basically what I've noticed, higher amounts kind of focus the light uh, more and lower kind of diffuse it, uh, diffuses the light across the entire surface more. So I'll show you that again because you can update this real time. And then the last uh, parameter is Fong Amount. So if you've worked with EnvMap, you probably use this value here, EnvMap 10. It's basically the same. If you want your uh, Fong effect to be more intense, you can change these first three values. So, you know, usually it would be one, but you can make it more intense by going up to 10 or whatever amount. And then it also adds this fourth value here, which is brightness, which you'd think brightness would actually like, I don't know. It's kind of just useless. All I've used it for is changing it to zero so you can only see the Fong effect. If you change it higher, it changes the entire brush's color to whatever the light is. So it's, uh, I would not play around with this unless you change it to zero to test if the Fong is even working. Oh, and another thing, you actually need a, um, a env sun. And what you need is an env underscore sun. Now in CSGO they have like a light cascade entity or something that provides the value for the Fong on um, light environment stuff. I had I saw one little mention of an M Sun in the um, Gary's Mod uh, Discord server. I don't even know where he got his information from, but it wasn't working until I tried to add an M Sun. So, so I just add an M Sun. And I don't know, I'm just gonna, oh, the angles are already copied over. So just add an M sun and then it should work. And now the second big thing I wanted to show off is static light map. Uh, yeah, static prop light maps. So if you make a prop static now, at the bottom you can see four new settings. Or five, I don't know if this one's new. But um, basically, if I extend this out, like you can see, generate and use light maps for this static prop. So if you enable this, it will generate and use light maps for this static prop. Now, 
down here, X and Y. This is basically, it's not like, um, you know, if you're actually optimizing your light maps on brushes. So you see how you have like Luxel scale here and the lower you go, the more like dense the light map is and better it is. No, 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 it's not like that. This is more like an actual texture. So if you set it at like 256 by 256, it would make a 256 by 256 image of your light map. So it would be higher quality. One other thing with static light map uh, props on props is basically uh, there, there's like one drawback. And that is if your model has overlapping UVs, which if you don't model, you don't really know what that means. Um, basically, it's when... So, to, when you unwrap a model to texture it, you have to unwrap it so it's like actually on a flat plane image instead of like a 3D image, like, a, I don't know, origami? <laughs> Folding stuff? You have to fold it to a flat image. Anyways, if you have any of your, I don't know, how to, just UVs, your pixel, uh, not pixels, your vertices and edges overlapping, on the uh, UV, this will break because basically it's trying to make another a light map on one area that's also on another area, so it just like breaks it. Now, when you're compiling for your static prop light maps, you want to add a certain parameter to your um, your light exe. So it's called static prop lighting. Okay, but here, so the HDR is really high right now. I I don't know why. I need like a tone map, but Here's your comparison, okay? So this is just the normal brush with a bunch of HDR on it. And then here's the other brush. You can see that there's actual uh, shine here under me for the bomb. So also, this light map isn't working properly. Uh, I'll just show you my other map. So in this map, I actually did get it to work, okay? And here's a better representation of the bomb also before and after before after you see how much like cooler this looks it looks it's just all you do is you oh also for fog you need a bump map but other than that i mean it's just it just looks good here's my uh the static prop light map you can see that it did uh add the shadow here and i'm pretty sure for other prop, this is the collision model for this prop, so I'm not exactly sure what that's about, but like, you know, it works. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is what it looks like. Okay, so here's another example of Fong on a light map, uh, a light mapped brush, and I feel like this is a better example here. Um, so if I opened up my VMT here. You can actually change VMT values and the thing will update in real time. So, for example, if you change the exponent, see how it's like a lot more diffused all around me? If I changed it to 10, it's even, it's still diffused and it's like around me. And then that's why I went for 100 here, which is more focused. And Fong amount, same thing. So, if I change this all to 1, it's a lot, you, you can't even like see it anymore. That was one of my problems when I was testing this, is it just didn't seem to work. I just needed to crank up the values a ton, you know? And so here, let me show you what I mean by brightness. So if I turn that to 10, like, what? It just changes the color. And if I change it to 0, there's no color, but the fong is the only thing working. So that's why I use it for testing. So yeah, I hope this helps your maps in the future look better. Now that Gary's mod has added these awesome little things. And yeah, I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.